So it's a different day and my order from Toyota Parts deal finally arrived. All my wiring harnesses showed up and we have I'm gonna go by I'm gonna go one by one. We have audio CD deck. This is the 28 pin to 20 and then 8 conversion. So this one you need because you want the Bluetooth microphone. Um, this one is your Bluetooth microphone right here. This is the part number for your microphone and you can see the connection. Let me see if I can show you guys. So the connection right here, this is the eight pin that you need to convert into the 20 to eight one. So it will connect right there and then you have a 20 pin right here. This one, I believe, I'm not sure exactly what it is for, but I'll get back to you guys if I remember. So you need those two for the microphone. And then you have this one, which is, here we go, for the antenna conversion. So basically this converts to old style antenna. You can see it's the round plug. This converts the stereo to accept the old style antenna plug and it powers the antenna as well. You can see there's one wire that goes from the connector into the port for the antenna and this is why when i was first recording this i wasn't getting audio out of the speakers because i needed this conversion harness so we have that final one i have is for the gps the antenna gps this is pretty expensive this is about 50 dollars. i should have grabbed the one from the junkyard um because it would have been cheaper but at the end of the day i already have a brand new one and it's the proper one and you know it yeah i i could have went back to grab the one from the junkyard but um that junkyard's about an hour and 30 minutes away from me so i didn't want to go back there on a day off and waste my whole day out there trying to recover the gps antenna because i'm pretty sure it's under the dashboard so i would have to remove the whole dashboard to get it on it just sounds like a complete pain in the ass so there's that so these i believe these cost me about a hundred bucks total i think this one's 50 and then the microphone one's like a 30 and then these two were like maybe 15 to 20 dollars each i'm not sure but it was a little bit over 100 bucks so it's not that bad we're gonna go ahead and wire it up and see if i can get this to turn on so as you guys saw this is the back of the stereo this is a gps unit where you can see right there so this is the conversion harness which would plug in right here where your audio ones would go so that goes right there and then we plug in the antenna one i'm not a fan of this this stretch going on <laughs> it's a little whack so i might end up cutting it right here and extending the wire it's just a 22 20 gauge wire probably gonna go ahead and extend this so it's not getting this stretched out or i'm gonna run it like that see if it's that much of an inconvenience so this should allow me to get audio out of the thing now so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick then i'm gonna plug in uh, which one is it is it this one right here yeah so i'm gonna plug in this one just so i can try and see if i could get any um i'm gonna plug in the microphone and see if i could get any voice commands to work because just want to make sure see it plugs in really easy so there's that and then we're gonna plug in our microphone and then our gps signal plugging in our gps right here this is where your usb and aux would go not right here this one's disabled now and this one's enabled that's going to be a later episode we're going to go ahead and do that harness our own we don't have to buy it and yeah right here's the the one that i'm talking about we would plug it in right there at the bottom but i'm gonna go ahead and splice it up that's gonna be a later episode and let's plug in the gps antenna sorry i meant to say microphone the one we just connected right here that's the gps one so then the microphone one gets connected to that 20 to 8 pin convert 28 to 20 to 8 conversion oh wow, that's a mouthful man <laughs> goes right here on this one if i can manage somehow to do it there we go so there we go let's plug it in and see what happens
So GPS antenna's hooked up, microphone is hooked up, and let's see what happens, people. Let's hopefully we get some audio out of this. Cool. That is awesome, guys. I'm so happy. Bespoke featuring AHA. I don't know what that is, but it seems pretty cool. That is awesome. I'm so happy it worked. Let's see if the maps load. Actually, it's probably going to show where I live, so I'm probably not going to show you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Here, let me turn this on. Six stop. I'm not sure exactly if I have to be driving around so that the GPS can probably pick up my signal, but it's saying that I'm like in Pittsburgh area. I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure I got to drive the vehicle around so that the GPS antenna can kind of recognize and see where I'm at. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I set it right now to like go to my job and I mean, it works, but. This is kind of just outdated and stuff. I'm I'm not I don't see myself using the 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 GPS thing. It's just for there, just for like like you know, it's there in case I really do want to use it. But I just wanted it. I mean, it, it's in there, why not? But it's pretty cool here. Let me see if I could get this. Actually, I need to connect my phone and see if I could if I can maybe Bluetooth, Bluetooth on, add new device, search for Bluetooth devices, Let's see if mine gets found. Hopefully it does. Um, maybe I gotta close my, maybe I gotta go into the, my settings on the phone and, and activate it here. Let me do that. So I got my phone paired. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the delete the old one that was there this is pretty cool man I'm, I'm i'm actually glad i got this from the junkyard i'm really happy that i did uh there's the back and then let's see if actually i don't want to show my <laughs> info let's see if i can do bluetooth music So I already went ahead and removed the bezel. There's only one, two Phillips head screws. You have to take off the the dials or I guess the, the knobs to get to that. And you just pull it. I was I was just using my, my hand and I was able to do it. So now we're gonna swap out the old unit. This unit doesn't work, look at this. You hear it? You can hear the music, it's just really quiet. I don't know why why it's like that. Hopefully, see, look at that. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get copyrighted infringement. Um, just turn that off for now. But we're gonna install the new unit. It's really simple. We got one, two, three, four Phillips head screws, and we're gonna swap over the bracket. Yo, I didn't even realize this. <laughs> the, so the stock radio, you can actually change the color. That is, dude, if I had this back in the day, this would have been amazing. Like I would have been, I would be like, oh my God, that's so cool. But you can see how retro this car is. It has an iPod. <laughs> connector and then just the aux like past the aux yo past the aux <laughs> man this screams retro but with this we're gonna give it a new chain new lease in life man when i was transferring over the scion xb bracket to the tc radio i had to drill out this hole so that the gps unit came out onto the bracket and i did it on both sides so now it's sturdy now it's secure now we're gonna go put it back in the xb so I already showed you guys how to connect it. It's pretty simple. I will go ahead and put pictures again if you guys don't remember how to plug it in. But it kind of took a little bit of finessing the wires to fit back there. And for now, I decided to route the microphone wire um, 
down the HVAC. Same with the same with the USB and aux cable. I'm gonna go ahead and run it all the way down here and right here in its original spot. And the microphone, I'm gonna see if it's long enough to go right here above and maybe put it somewhere like right here or maybe right here in the pillar or I don't know, maybe double-sided tape it just right here. I don't know yet. I'm gonna see where I get the best audio for when I talk, but it's already connected. Let's see if it starts. Moment of truth. Oh, jeez. Cool, it works. Let's see, source. I think we're gonna put the radio just for now real quick. Oh, I lost all my stuff. So let's see. I just wanna make sure the antenna works. How do I go back to FM? Okay, cool, the antenna works. Let's stop before I get copyright infringement. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't really introduce you guys to the Scion XE. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Wait, how does this save? How does this save my pre um, where I last did the the GPS to? But it didn't save my radios. That that that's kind of dumb. But I mean, whatever. Let's not question that. It's alive. It has a memory of its own. But anyways, um, I think this video is done for now. It's getting a little bit late. I might do another one once I'm done putting it all back together. Oh, one thing I didn't check. The lights. They work. And it dims the screen. So now it's better looking at night. Because see, like right now, you can't really see it because it's way too bright. But at night, it dims it down and all the lights work. That's awesome, dude. This is great like every scion older scion should get this upgrade it's just amazing man hey, hey.